Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about the uh, Republican debates and uh, what we can tell from it. Going over the the play-by-play -play really isn't that interesting. There wasn't much there. Um, lots of just normal Republican antics. But there were a couple of interesting developments that I think are worth noting because it, it, it highlights a shift that has occurred. Most of the debate was focused on foreign policy, what, what Republicans consider foreign policy, dividing the world up into good countries and bad countries and saying bad countries are bad and good countries are good. Okay. Um, and, and that was what they focused on. They didn't even talk about, you know, the giant elephant in the room being reproductive rights until like an hour and a half into it. Um, so what you're seeing is the Republican Party start to realize that the culture war nonsense is not really uh, benefiting them. So they're trying to switch gears and talk about foreign policy. The problem with this is that their base is conditioned to uh, to really crave that the culture war stuff. The base is going to want it, and none of these candidates are really giving it to them. So either it's an acknowledgement of how poorly. Republican domestic policy resonates with the majority of Americans as demonstrated by, well, you know, the whole Virginia, Ohio, you know, all of that stuff. Um, or something else has happened, which may be even more likely and even more uh, unnerving. They may no longer be debating to be president. They may be trying to audition for the role of a vice president who uh, engages in foreign policy, who gets sent places to go handle things. Uh, which would mean that large camps within the Republican Party do not see a way to stop Trump. And now they are trying to position themselves to be able to benefit from his potential nomination or maybe even election. Um, the, the stark shift in what they were talking about, it, it, it signals one of the two. Either everybody on that stage has already given up and they're just going through the motions and they're hoping that Trump will pick them or the Republican Party is in total disarray and they don't want to talk about their domestic policy because, well, I mean, frankly, most Americans think it's horrible. Um, it's one of those two or maybe a combination of both. But I would, I, I would kind of expect to see less and less energy coming out of the potential... The potential candidates for president from the Republican side, unless something happens with one of Trump's many legal entanglements, that may re-energize them. But based on that debate, they're at a loss and they're trying to find a place. None of that is good for the U.S. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.